1853, Bao Shen Lam began an incredible journey. Not a journey of miles, but of ideas. Ideas that would accelerate science, author history, and improve the way people see. Along the way, amazing visions came into focus, revolutionary concepts, bold discoveries, life-changing innovations, each built upon the driving passion inherited from our founders, propelling us forward to the next frontier of sight. This is the story of our company, where we've been, where we're going, and who we've helped. A story about vision, literally and figuratively. A story about the future of sight from the very beginning. My great-grandfather, J.J. Bausch, came to the United States with an idea to sell imported German spectacles. But the business failed. Why imported lenses and frames were too expensive for most Americans. Still, he perseveres. His good friend, Henry Lam, loans him his fortune. Imagine, $60 to keep the business going. Their lifelong partnership is sealed with a handshake. The partnership endured even as Henry Lam left to fight in the Civil War, but he sent back his army pay to my great-grandfather. Then comes the discovery that will change their future. J.J. Bosch finds in the street a piece of rubber, at the time called vulcanized rubber. With his typical ingenuity, he experiments with this material, making eyeglass frames that are strong, flexible, and inexpensive. A new business is born. The vulcanite frames are a huge success. The company grows, a new factory is built, stores open across the U.S. and in London. As the business and product lines grow, J.J. Bosch and Henry Lam help their community establish a college that will become the Rochester Institute of Technology, a dental dispensary, the Museum and Science Center, and many other public institutions that endure today. The sons of J.J. Bosch continue his inventiveness. Edward patents the world's first mass-produced microscope. His invention reveals the unseen world to doctors, scientists, and even students unlocking countless discoveries, accelerating the development of vaccines and medicines, and advancing health care around the world. Among Edward's other patents is the between-the-lens iris diaphragm and shutter, used in Eastman Kodak Company cameras during the late 19th century. Other great inventions came from my great-uncle William Bausch, including a patented process to manufacture optical glass. Thanks to his invention, Bausch & Lam becomes the largest maker of optical glass in the United States. Bausch & Lam products using this glass, including binoculars, rifle scopes, and periscopes, play a major role in both world wars and lead to the development of the world-famous Ray-Ban sunglasses, originally designed for military pilots. I remember the days working at the factory, working around the clock in the 40s for my friends who were fighting on our behalf. Post-war America, 1953, Bastion Lam celebrates 100 years in business, and the company is changing with the times, making products like fashionable eyeglasses, slide projectors, binoculars, and telescopes that become as much a part of American life as cars with fins and TV sets. The passion for invention continues with the realization that success in business demands a constant stream of new products that meet the changing needs of customers. Always focused on public health, BNL develops the first machines to test the vision of students in school so that childhood eye problems can be detected and treated early. In the 50s, our CinemaScope lens takes Hollywood by storm, getting top billing with movie stars of the day and even taking home an Academy Award and our Ray-Ban sunglasses become the fashion accessory among the chic and the famous. Soon, people everywhere are reaching for the Ray-Bans. The family company J.J. Bausch and Henry Lom started goes public 
trades on the New York Stock Exchange and further expands across the country and overseas, becoming a household name worldwide. In 1965, Bausch and Lomb reaches new heights as Explorer 1 transmits the first images of the moon's surface using a Bausch and Lomb photographic lens. In 1969, I become a Bausch and Lomb clinical investigator for the world's first soft contact lens. This hugely successful innovation transforms the contact lens industry and begins a career-long relationship with Bausch and Lomb that has enriched my life and that of countless visually disabled people. Because its commitment does not stop at the bottom line, Bausch and Lomb supports the Boston Foundation for Sight and our mission to develop a contact lens device that restores vision in people blind from corneal disease, regardless of their ability to pay or where they live. Today, we are poised to dramatically change the lives of literally hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. Most are young, some are children who had no hope of ever regaining functional vision. We restored sight to a woman, Helen, who never before saw her husband of 12 years and her daughter, age nine. Now she is the proud owner of a driver's license. And what is the payback to Bausch and Loan? Only the satisfaction of knowing that we are enabling so many people blind in the prime of life to achieve their full potential as productive members of society. I am proud and grateful to have Bausch and Loan as my partner. Contact lenses fuel enormous growth. Bausch and Loan continues to develop innovative products like the world's first lens care cleaner, now called Renew and the first contact lenses to correct astigmatism. Continuing its long-standing heritage of helping the community, Bosch & Lomb focuses on education, founding a school for eye care professionals in India, training doctors in China, and donating millions of dollars to eye health research around the world. The end of the 20th century brings rapid change as product lines are sold, including the instruments business, the microscope line, and the eyeglasses that started it all. Bausch & Lomb is transforming into a global healthcare company fueled by the revenue from contact lenses and sunglasses. This is a time of major expansion. New plants in China, India and Ireland open. It's a time of acquisition as Bausch & Lomb invests in dental products, a skincare business, even hearing aids. But it's clear that these additions detract from the company's core competencies. An important decision is made. Bausch & Lomb returns to its roots and builds on its heritage in eye health. Once again, Bausch & Lomb means vision. BNL acquires and advances technology in lasers for eye surgery, precision diagnostics, and prescription over-the-counter pharmaceuticals. Our journey doesn't stop here, as we mark a milestone that very few companies ever reach. We stand at the start of a new era, prepared to take on the challenges of tomorrow. inventiveness, creativity, and perseverance. Qualities J.J. Bausch and Henry Lom instilled in our company years ago are helping millions around the world see better even today. With continued emphasis on research and development, we will break new ground, create new technologies, and continue to improve life through better sight. Here's a look at our future. In Vision Care, we're inventing the future now pioneering new materials to deliver improved contact lens performance, comfort, and convenience. J.J. Bausch's curiosity and persistence, qualities that made him wonder, what if affordable, flexible frames could be made so everyone who needed glasses could have them? Those qualities helped build this company. So today, we too ask, what if? What if there was a material that would allow contact lenses to stay in the eye for a year or more without removal? What if we could make custom contact lenses that correct higher order aberrations of the eye? 
What if there was a drop that cleans and conditions lenses in the eye? J.J. Bausch believed if he could imagine it, he could build it. As we look to the future, we imagine a world of endless possibilities. Imagine surgical instruments so small, you won't need sutures. Imagine lens implants that work like the eye's natural lens. Imagine sophisticated laser systems that deliver better than perfect eyesight. The surgical business is building on our legacy of inventive curiosity. Our heritage in advanced optics and precision instrumentation is helping us invent new products that perform better and meet the needs of the world's eye surgeons. These advancements, born from our passion for perfection, will take us beyond 2020. Like the surgical business, where microtechnology is the future, our pharmaceuticals business is looking at unique ways to deliver medicine to the eye. New medicines that may restore sight, with tiny implants smaller than a grain of rice. And other miniature systems that dissolve after delivering sight-saving drugs inside the eye. We are on the next frontier in eye health, the vitreoretinal area, which includes treating diseases of the back of the eye, the diseases that blind millions of people each year. And like our founders, we are asking, what if? What if there were new therapies to provide hope and sight where there is none? What if there were treatments, a simple pill, for example, that could actually reverse the effects of sight-robbing diseases? 150 years later, the cornerstone of our culture remains an inventive spirit. Only this time, we are the pioneers. The journey that John Jacob Bausch and Henry Long began in 1853 continues into the uncharted territory of a bright future they never could have imagined. While much has changed, the company they began, nurtured, and grew is guided still by their commitment to finding better ways to help people see. This commitment will be our guidepost for the future as we seek newer and better ways of perfecting vision and enhancing life.